What's good? What's good? This is Steeko. This is Steeko, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor right now. Stop what you're doing. Subscribe to the channel. That ain't, is that too much to ask for? Subscribe to the channel. He said, they gusta lo que mira, press like. Share this video on your social media platforms. I'm talking about your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Snapchat. Down the list, share this video. That's what you have to do right now at this moment. Also, drop a comment in the comment section. You know I'm always interacting with me, gente. I know I see y'all talking a mess, a hot mess, and I'm still interacting with y'all, man. Y'all can have it. Hey, y'all can have it. I ain't, I ain't trying to fight y'all. You know where it is, man. And also, do me a favor. Hit the notification bell to get notified. That's the only way you know I'm about to drop something new. When you hit that notification bell, you get that, that alert. Hey, he dropped something, baby. Hey, don't forget, visit the website r 2 d rec.com the merchandise will be updated we gotta have some new things on there trust me trust me just believe trust the process man and hey let's talk about it right we all take losses we all do in some fashion form we all take an l and this and it bothers us it bothers us but at the same time it's what do you do after you take that l do you continue dwelling on it? Do you do something about it? Or do you say, hey, you know what? It is what it is. Keep it moving. Hey, there's so many options available for you. So pick one. But whatever choice you make, what I suggest, keep moving forward. Hey, you know, we ain't looking back there. It was back to us in the back. We right here in the present in the moment and looking forward. Mira como un caballo, vato. You know, seen the last. Have you ever seen a, uh, a horse? This is how they do it. They don't see nothing from side to side. They just keep going straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But man, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. Valentina Shevchenko. Look, look, I agree with one thing she said, though. I'll be honest with y'all right now. I do agree. The referee. I think it was like the third round when she was fight fighting Alexa uh, Grasso, right? Grasso. Sorry. Grasso. It was around the third round. She was on top of her. You could tell she was about to give her, you know, chingasso from from on top. And she was doing, she, she was holding her down. And Valentina said, the bullet said, wait a minute. Why are they standing us up? I worked so hard for me to do what I'm supposed to do. Take her down and do what I'm supposed to do. And then you could hear Joe Rogan. You could hear whoever was commentating. You could hear him saying, this is what I dislike about UFC. Why are y'all standing them up? I even asked myself when I was watching the fight, what in the world was this referee thinking? Why would you stand him up? It ain't like she was just laying there. She was working her way to try to get to her. She was working it, man. And you know what I mean? And, and, and she explains it. And that's not being a sore loser, guys. That's not a sore loser. That's not the part that's a sore loser part, you know, at all. She has every right. I even question it. I, the UFC community, I know they question it. When I was watching it and other people were like, what's going on? Why are they standing up? It is what it is. Now, what people are saying now is that she didn't take that L very well. And she's, very, she's basically not giving the fighter, Grasso, uh, any kind of credit. Basically, that... Look, we got good days, we got bad days. Some days we go in there. I'm still trying to think about that that kick she threw. She threw a kick. She threw a kick. The kick went back. Didn't connect. Alexa saw something. Boom! Jumped on her. And, you know, that's pretty much the end. Choked her. Was it really a choke? It looked like she had it right here. But who knows? At the end of the day... I don't think that she's discrediting her. Be honest with y'all. I, I hear uh, Chell Sonnen talking disrespectfully about the bullet. That she can't take a L. That she's the, the bad guy. No, no, no. She has every right to feel like that. When you're the greatest at what you do, you have every right to say, hey, I know I'm better than this. I know I could beat this person. I was basically beating her. And I'll be honest, I watched the fight again about three more times. Make it four. <laughs> I watched it. Hey, Grasso, she got some hands. I I seen her fight before. 
And I always seen her in that boxing stand. And I was like, esta, esta, she, she, ta tirando chingazos, vato. She connected clean, flush. It was flush. I'm talking about, but, Valentina, she, she, she took a couple punches. I'm gonna say that. She took a couple punches. The bullet was a little, I, I'll be honest with you. I think she took that, that Alexa, like a little, I want to say not too lightly, but she took it just a little bit lightly. I, I really do. Because the, I don't know, there were certain spots that I was just like, okay, this ain't the, Val maybe, maybe Valentina, maybe the bullet had a little day off. She she needed a day off that day. But hey, you know, when it's fight time, it's fight time. It don't matter how, how you feel, what you feel, and it happens, right? And a lot of people are saying she's jumping into the rematch too fast. Wait a minute, man. She didn't get knocked out like Amara Usman now. Come on, now. She just she threw a kick, a wild kick, and thought it was going to connect. And she's done it before. And, hey, you just get caught. And maybe next time it'll be different. But, hey, shout-outs to uh, Miss Alexa Grasso. She did her thing. She did what she's supposed to do. Go in there with everything you got. And put it on the line and don't hesitate. You see an opening, you go for it and do what you got to do. I'm a Valentina uh, a fan. I've been a fan since she fought Amanda Nunez back in the day. I've been a fan at 135. Now she's at 125. I've been a fan. But, hey, you know, you take them L's. You know, sometimes you got to take them L's. Is she in denial that she lost? No, I think she clearly knows she took that L. She understands she lost. Now, to what level did she give her opponent credit? I don't know. She's giving her credit. She beat me. Cool. But I know I'm better than that. That's basically what I'm hearing. I'm, that's all I'm hearing. I'm hearing that the referee messed up because he did. I feel like he did. There was no reason why when she was doing the ground and pound on the floor, taking her down. And I saw at times I saw her hand come up, clocked her a few times. I don't see where the referee saw something else and said, hey, Y'all get up. I, I, I don't know. Please don't put that ref back in there again, please. Don't put him in there again. I, I don't like that. I'm not a referee, but I know for a fact when I see a fighter actually moving. Come on now. But that's what she said. She said something about the referee. And, I, and I'm going to drop the link in my description. Errol, Errol Hawani has an interview with her. And she is at the very end. She, she talks about it. But the interview is cool. Now. When she talks about the whole entire fight, it just sounds like a fighter that understands the fight game and understands her position as one of the greatest to ever do it. And what she's trying to say is basically, hey, look, if y'all gonna remember me, remember me for what I did. Don't remember me for what I, this person. Don't tie me to this person only. Just embrace me as a champion that I, if I held the belt for this long, you know, just... Embrace me, and I, and I get it. It makes it makes sense. You, you you have to tap into the mind of a fighter to understand what she was saying. And when I tap into some of these fighters, because I got that fighting spirit, you know, let's not go. There. But when I hear him talk you know, at that level, I'm like, okay, she understands. She's one of the best to ever do it. She slipped up, and she and she just capitalized off that situation. That was it. But we're about to find out. We're about to find out. Hey, if she loses again, does that not make her one of the greatest to ever do it? It is. Sometimes you, 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 okay, I met my match. But she done went through that division with no problem. And I think she's going to continue doing that. But hey, it might be like a Max Holloway with Volonsky, you know, Alexander, you know, come on, man. That was three times. And you never know. You never know. But I will say this. Y'all taking it out of context. Valentina, the bullet, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Sometimes you take the males, and hey, it is what it is. But shout outs to Alexis. She did what she's supposed to do. Put it on the line, everything. This is this is this is the moment that counts. And salute to her. And we're about to find out a second time. And when y'all get a chance, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Don't hesitate. You see that red button? Click it. Subscribe to the channel. You see the gusta lo que mira? Press like. Share this video on all your social media platforms. Let everybody know your boy is here. Also, hit the notification. Oh, wait. Drop a comment in the comment section. I want to hear about this one. Is the rematch going to be better than the first one? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be iffy? Is Valentina, is she wrong? No, no, no. 
y'all let me know what y'all think also hit the notification bell that's the only way you get notified when i drop something visit the website it's r2d with a number two rec.com and always remember have oh almost messed that up always remember have peace in your heart have faith and never give up all right one